Oh, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. Are you looking for a foraging book that's great for beginners and also has a lot of really good in-depth knowledge that more advanced foragers can use? Well, this might be the book for you. Edible Wild Plants by Dr. I think it's Dr. John Callis. This could be the best overall foraging book out there. Let's take a look at it. Edible Wild Plants, Wild Foods from Dirt to Plate by John Callis, PhD. I'm going to rate this book on four categories, which will be pictures, book learning factor, readability, and the Okanagan Gardener and Forager factor. And uh, each one will be out of five. So the first one, pictures. I give this book a five out of five for pictures. And I think it's a really important category for foraging books, because so much of what you're trying to do is make sure you're finding the thing that you're dealing with accurately, identifying it accurately. And things like this, this picture right here, which shows on the left, these, these two pictures, shows three different plants. They're cat's ear, dandelion, and chicory. And the way the picture is, there's lots of pictures like this in the book, it shows close up, so it really helps with identification. And uh, it shows different pictures at different stages of growth and all throughout, so it's really helpful to find what you're looking for. And even going into, uh, you know, harvesting techniques, but uh, this is just a dandelion. But preparing it too, so 5 out of 5 for pictures. The next category that I'm rating this book on is the book learning factor. And what I think book learning factor means, and what it means to me, is how much information is in this book. And what this book has, it covers uh, 22 species and you will be hard pressed to find a book that covers these species in more detail. So it's loaded with information on each of them and with like really cool stuff about different stages of growth, uh, information like, you know, nutritional information, where and when to find them, you know, how to harvest, you know, like close up pictures of different plant structures. Here's a, this is talking about curly dock, which looks a lot like broadleaf dock, broadleaf dock, and it is also included to help you distinguish between the two things like that i really like uh there's different sections in this book like at the beginning you know it goes into all sorts of stuff about you know it's almost like uh, the philosophy of foraging and maybe you know in some of the explanations given about maybe you've had bad experiences or some of the wild edibles you've tried haven't tasted as good as you might have thought they should and this book goes into a lot of depth details about why that might be, you know, from where you're harvesting or what type, time of the season it is. And then also there's all sorts of good stuff about, you know, actual foraging tools and techniques. The only, so I gave it, in the end, I gave it a four to five. And the reason I gave what? it a four rather than higher, because the information itself is great. Uh, I, I, it only has, you know, only, which 22 is quite a few, but 22 plants. So some books out there have a lot more, so that's the only reason it's not a 5 out of 5. The next category that I'll be discussing is readability. So for me, readability means is it easy to read? Is it well written? Is it organized in a logical way? And for this book, I gave it a 5 out of 5 on readability. I really like the way it's laid out. I love these sorts of things in there uh, that shows you where you can find the books. Or, sorry, the plant. It's laid in a logical fashion, so it starts with finding it and the information about why you might care about this plant and moves on to how to harvest and what parts to harvest and then how to prepare it. And this I'm showing you right now is mallow. And I really like the discussion. And, and overall, uh, reading this book, it's like, uh, I think, it's like you're having a conversation with the author. It's, very, it's written in a very approachable way and it's interesting. And so, you know, because a lot of, say, foraging books could be more of a, like a field guide, and this book is not that. It's more of a, I would say, a user manual. It, it'll take you right from start to finish on how to forage. And I liked, so I'm showing you Mallow, because I like the discussion that's in it. It kind of just goes through how he went about trying to make Mallow foam and stuff with the Mallow. And it's really, you know, it's pretty enjoyable. So five out of five for readability. And the last category that I have scored on is the Okanagan Gardener and Forager Factor. So that's my subjective category. I get to rate based on whatever I want. And so I gave it a five out of, sorry, I gave it a four out of five on this one. And 
the reason I gave it a four out of five, there's a lot of great things about it. The plants that are covered are covered in some of the most depth that you'll find anywhere else out there. And the additional information, oh, like these plants, these are widely available throughout North America and Europe. It's got a good beginning section laying the foundation for foraging and the philosophy of the book. The philosophy of foraging is covered too and it's a really good book. The only reason that I scored it four out of five, you know, for me, because I'm interested in medicinal aspects of plants and this doesn't really cover any of that and uh, some other books that I would be interested in would have more uh, of just more species of plants. So, you know, there's no fault from the information that's in this book. It's just it doesn't, you know, cover as wide range of plants that I might be interested in otherwise. Well, that's my review of Edible Wild Plants. Wild foods from dirt to plate. Overall, I give it a 4.5 out of 5. Could have been higher, uh, I suppose, but, uh, you know, I the scales for me and my preferences here. So it's a really great book. Great for beginners. Great for advanced. Great overall, yeah, it might be the best overall foraging book out there. Uh, so, anyways, uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment. Do you like this book? What book do you like better? And uh, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.